Depending on your engine build, whether it's a mild build or an aggressive build, you may want to change how rich or lean the engine's running. Today we're going to talk about that and show you how to adjust target AFRs on Phytex Tech Tuesday. AFR stands for air fuel ratio and is broken down as parts air to one part fuel. For example, 14.7 to 1 is 14.7 parts air to one part fuel. This happens to be a perfect clean burning air fuel ratio for gasoline. This is also known as stoichiometric. When looking at the AFR targets menu, the change that you're actually making is the parts air portion. When you're changing these numbers, you're telling the engine to run richer or leaner depending on the load the engine is experiencing and at a certain RPM the engine is at. These values are set up pretty good for a majority of motors, but with a little bit of adjustment, you can improve the horsepower of the engine as well as fuel economy of the engine. The first item in the AFR targets menu is idle AFR. The idle AFR can be adjusted while the engine is running and you can audibly hear the engine change in idle quality. You may want to increase the number up to something like 14.2 on a stock style motor, and it may run a little bit cleaner, but on a, an aggressive built engine, you may want to target something slightly richer, such as 13.3. Don't be shy to move this value up and down with the engine running, and you can listen to the quality of the idle and pick what suits best for the engine. Next are AFR targets at cruise. These are at 45 kPa and are broken down at 1100, 3000, and 6000 RPM. At cruise, an engine is only trying to maintain vehicle speed and is not under load. This would be a perfect scenario to try to lean out the motor and get better fuel economy. A good AFR target range in this section would be somewhere between 13 and a half to 15 to one. The higher the number you put in these values, the leaner the engine is gonna run. Next are AFR targets at WOT, also known as wide open throttle. Wide open throttle adjustments are at 95 kPa, which is minimal vacuum, and at RPMs 1100, 3000, and 6000. In this situation, the engine's under full load and we're trying to make peak performance out of the motor. So it is best to target a much richer AFR somewhere between 12 and 13 to 1 to try to get the most performance out of the engine. The richer the setting, the safer it's going to be on the motor, because if you run it too lean, you're going to create more internal heat inside the motor and failures can occur. So be careful with these settings. For some systems, there will be an additional menu for boost. This will be at 180 kPa and also broken down at the 1100, 3000, and 6000 RPM. This is for when a motor experiences positive pressure into the intake. In these scenarios, you want to add additional fuel because you're adding additional air. A good acceptable range in most cases for this will be somewhere between 11 and 12 to 1 air fuel ratio. The biggest thing to remember when adjusting your air fuel ratios is the more load the engine is under, the richer you want to run the engine. The best thing about this menu though is you can independently adjust light loads from heavy loads. So you can not only maximize the horsepower of the engine under your heavy loads, you could also maintain the best fuel economy as possible. Keep in mind though, if you're trying to maximize your fuel economy, that means keep light accelerations and don't rev the engine as high as possible. I hope this answers all of your questions about AFR targets. And if you have any additional questions, please ask them in the comments down below.